chic here. It has been so long since I've sat down and filmed a video. Like, it's been crazy. Sorry, I have been MIA. My life has been crazy. It's been a hard season for me. I had pneumonia. I had to evacuate six times for a fire and a mudslide in my town. And it has just been a crazy time. But I am here. I am healthy. I am safe. I am grateful, and it's my birthday in a couple of days. I figured, why not film a video in honor of my own birthday? So, without further ado, here are 17 things I have learned in 17 years. Don't settle for subpar friends. They're out there. Go find them. The hardest times are shaping you into the person you are becoming, and so appreciate these times. As hard as it is, I'm really grateful for the really, really hard times in my life. Bubble baths won't solve all your problems, but there's no harm in trying. You can't make people like you, so you might as well like you, and honestly, at the end of the day, that's all that matters. So be the version of yourself that you like, and the right people will like you too. I have greatly learned the power of vulnerability. Vulnerability brings Friendships, relationships, it brings healing, empowerment, it brings so many amazing things. And you never know who you're helping when you're vulnerable and honest, and I just think that's really cool. People are too caught up in themselves to judge you, honestly, at the end of the day. So do whatever the heck you want to do, because who even cares what they think? If your dog doesn't like them, they're probably not actually a good friend. If your mom doesn't like them, they're probably not actually a good friend. There is a difference between confidence and conceitedness. Don't let anyone tell you differently. Real friends like you for you and won't make you feel like you have to pretend to be someone that you're not. Ask them for their number. You never know if you don't try. Self-love is about so much more than just what you look like. People. It's true. Watch some of my other videos if you want to hear more. One Direction is not just a phase. <laughs> it's much better to have a few close, real friends than a large group of people. I mean, if you can get a large group of real friends, that's awesome, but quality over quantity, my friends. God puts people in your life at the perfect time, and he also takes people out of your life at the perfect time, and so trust this. First impressions are not always correct, and so a quote that I love is from To Kill a Mockingbird, you never really understand a person until you consider things from his point of view, until you climb into his skin and walk around in it. Some of my favorite people, I didn't like that much at first. <laughs> Sorry guys, you know I love you. <laughs> it is perfectly fine to not always stay positive and to have bad days and to have hard seasons as long as you pull yourself back out of that and as long as you don't just throw a big pity party. I hope that you guys enjoyed 17 things I have learned in 17 years. I love you guys so much and I'm so grateful to be filming again and to be sitting here doing well. This is the best May I've had in several years because May has just been a really, really, really hard time in my life for the past four or five years. So look at me. Your girl is doing better. Also, also, I'm in a book. One sec, let me get the book. What? Yeah. Ah, I'm so excited. I've kept this a secret for so long, you guys. It is written by the amazing Shannon Hogan Cohen, and she put together 24 stories from 24 unique women and paired it with 24 female artists who are absolutely incredible. I'm chapter four. I am so happy. I mean, look, it's me. So I go way more in depth um, in my story than I have publicly ever. If you want to know more details about who I am, what I've been through, and some more lessons I've learned, as well as 23 other incredible women and the struggles that they've been through and how they've overcome them, buy the book on Amazon. Yeah, I'm really excited to finally share this with you, and there are some events in the LA area, so if you want to come to them, 
meet me, meet some other amazing people, and the author, come on over, and we can hang out. And I'll sign your book. All right, I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, so good.